Zionists have made multiple terror attacks with the aim of it to blame on Arab people. However they have failed and Israel was exposed when these crimes were committed. As Israel has been active in both direct and indirect use of violence to achieve objectives through the use of terror. Number 1, The King David Hotel Bombing. The King David Hotel Bombing was a terrorist attack carried out by the militant right-wing, Zionist underground organization on the British headquarters for Mandatory Palestine, which was housed in the King David Hotel in Jerusalem. In this attack 91 people of various nationalities were killed, and 46 were injured. When the plan of this operation had begun, the Zionist radicals disguised themselves as Arab workers, in order to pin the blame on the Palestinians. Whether the motive for this attack was to force the British to leave Palestine, or to destroy confiscated documents which was in the building, it is a fact that the Zionists disguised themselves as Arab citizens. I want you to think about this, why would they disguise themselves as Arabs to commit a terrorist attack? How do you feel about this behavior? Keep that in mind. Number, 2, The Levant Affair. In another stunning failure by none other than the state of Israel itself, the Levant Affair was a failed Israeli operation, conducted in Egypt, as part of a false flag operation. A group of Zionists were recruited by Israeli military intelligence to plant bombs inside Egyptian, American, and British-owned civilian targets, cinemas, libraries, and American educational centers. The bombs were timed to detonate several hours after closing time. The attacks were to be blamed on Arabs and or Muslims. With the aim of deteriorating the relationship between the United States, United Kingdom, and Egypt. Israel was willing to kill hundreds of innocent Arab, American, and British civilians. The operation was such a failure that there were no casualties, but led to the deaths of four of the Zionist terrorists, two cell members who committed suicide after being captured, and two operatives who were tried, convicted, and executed by the Egyptian authorities. Again, I want you to think about this. Zionists have not done this once but multiple times, in which they commit acts of terror of killing innocents, and then with the aim of blaming it on Arab people. How do you feel about Zionists dressing as Arabs and committing acts of terror? Number, 3, The USS Liberty Attack. During the Third Arab-Israeli War, Israel had once again wanted to force the USA to ruin its relationship with the Arab states, most notably Egypt. In attempt to do this, Israeli Air Force and Navy brutally and in a fast pace attempted to quickly kill every single American on the USS Liberty ship. However even though many of the crew was killed, the operation had once again failed. And Israel was exposed again, this time Israel claimed it was an accident. Despite the survivors of this incident denied that it was an accident and claimed it was deliberate. These survivors were encouraged to stay quiet. This was another attempt for an attack to be blamed on Arabs. I remember hearing about how it was just an accident that uh, the Israelis had uh, accidentally fired a missile at a U.S. ship. And you know, I accepted that. I'm sure most Americans believed it. But of course it wasn't true. <laughs> they, they continued that this was an attack with a big uh, oversized American flag uh, on a ship on a clear day and uh, the attempt uh, was to sink the ship and blame it on the Egyptians and of course the ship didn't sink and uh, didn't really work out for them very well but Lyndon Johnson covered it all up so I know David has a lot to uh, to say about this. I mean, this this is an incredible outrage. It's something that you know just you can't believe actually happened. But most Americans bought into it. You know, it was just an accident. The Israelis accidentally shot a missile at an American ship, thinking it was somebody else. But it wasn't an accident. It was uh, it was a deliberate attack on an American vessel. The only Middle Eastern country that has ever attacked America is Israel, and uh, all, all the um, all the crew members. I mean, uh, this has been pretty well documented over the years. So all the crew members knew it was a deliberate attack on an American vessel, and the Israelis intended to destroy an American ship and then blame it on the Egyptians but the ship didn't sink and it didn't work out quite the way they wanted it and uh, that, that, that happens with Jews a lot of times but uh, I don't know it's it, 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 as, as long ago as that was it's just something absolutely amazing to me that uh, that uh, th th this uh, special special uh, alliance we have with Israel.
continues despite the fact that they're the only country that has ever attacked an American, uh, ever attacked Americans. Conclusion. It is without a doubt that the state of Israel uses terror attacks to achieve its goals, even if it means killing civilians and even if it means killing American civilians who are allied with Israel. Zionists have no problem doing this.